Back home from work, really, really, really busy day. Got a very, very, very busy week and just a couple of hours to get some training in, catch up with work. We're at 25 past seven. Zara's just gone to bed, lots of crying. I've got the night off from putting her to bed, so I'm gonna hit the garage tonight. Cleaning jerks. I'm gonna see what I can get up to on a one rep max, so I'll let you know how I get on with that one. Also got this red eye as well. I'm not really sure how that's come about, but it started in that eye, and then now it's in that eye. It's really annoying. So I can't put my contact lenses in, so I have to wear these bad boys. See how we get on with that. So agenda for tonight, warm up, five minutes, cleaning jerk to a heavy single, just to see what I can get, just to enjoy it, but I think I have to clean up this garage first of all, use that as part of the warm up. I don't know if it's just me or anyone else, but when you're really short on time and you've only got a, a sort of a small window for training, the warm ups just seem annoying more than anything because you've got to take the time to warm up the shoulders, warm up the legs and make sure that you prepare the mind and body for exercise and then it just takes up so much time and just want to get to the good stuff. So goal tonight is just to take it, take it at my own pace and see what numbers I can reach tonight. So I've got in my mind that I want to try and get to, now I don't want to overcommit here, but I want to get to 80, 85 and just see how that feels. Um, hips a bit tight, uh, shoulders feeling good, but just want to see what I'm going to get to. A lot of the movements that we'll typically do at the Rainhill Trials will be from the floor. So it makes perfect sense to do lifts from the floor and make sure that when I am lifting those weights off the floor that I can lift quite heavy to compete with the top guys when I get down there. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on and, and see, how, see how heavy I can get.
so I'm hitting into 90 kilogram territory for the clean and jerk. One thing about training on your own in the garage at night when you have a small child under the age of three is that you've probably got one drop from the overhead. One drop, because as soon as you drop that, you'll have a crying baby, an annoyed wife, and that is just not good. So you have one chance, one opportunity, to make it count. I think Eminem said that. kilogram I still have one drop from overhead to go not dropped it yet I've loaded a hundred kilograms on the bar pretty ballsy but it's feeling good the night he was feeling good so I'm just gonna jump that 10 kilo that 10 kilograms more and go for a hundred let's see what happens you know let's push outside the comfort zone and let's just see let's see if I can get it The answer that to that, ladies and gentlemen, was a big fat no. 90 felt great. <laughs> Should have maybe gone for 95. Bit off more than I could chew and went for the 100, but God loves a trier. Let's, let's keep hustling. Let's keep trying to make it work. I will get that 100. I will get it. It's one of my goals now. I'm gonna get it written up. You saw it here first. So 100 kilograms just wasn't meant to be tonight and I'm okay with that, you know, I've got plenty of goals in mind to hit over the next sort of two to three, four months ahead of the rain holes in May and um, I think I will get, definitely get that and I'm going to enjoy the journey. So that's uh, the end of today's vlog, I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, as always if you can do me a huge favour and hit that like button, I am doing my very best to grow the channel as much as I possibly can to share this knowledge and this insight with as many people as I possibly can, so if you could just give me a like or comment or thumbs up and share that with as many people as you can, that would be great.